Did James Dean ever talk about the disappearance of Heidi Allen in your presence? Yes, he did. When was that? Um, a few years after the Thibodeau trial, I do remember that. Um, he stopped by my house and he, he, I was in a discussion with my boys about going for a bicycle ride and they were probably about 14 or 15 and it was getting late at night and Jay Steen had stopped in to see if I had a day's work that he could do. And he just happened to pop in the door the same time I was like kind of discussing with my boys to let him go for the bicycle ride and he looked right at my boys and they were from me to you away and he said, oh boys, he says, it's getting late and you better listen to your dad. He says, uh, look at what happened to Heidi Allen. And nobody was talking about Heidi Allen at the time. And I was in kind of a heated discussion with my boys, so I wasn't paying a real lot of attention at that time of what he was saying. And then he, he continued on and he said, she's long gone now. And he says, she, she's uh, gone to Canada. He says, and I know more about this Heidi Allen case than the Swill County Sheriff's. They got the wrong guys. They says, they got the Thibodeaux in there and the Thibodeau boys didn't do it. I think you told Ms. Peebles, you generally knew Jay Steen to be a truthful person. Yes, I did. Did you ever tell your boys, hey look, don't do this because this could happen or see something bad happen on the news. See boys, that, that's what could happen if you do that. You ever do something like that as a dad? Um, yeah, I guess I, I probably have done something like that. And I guess my point, Mr. Clark, is, I mean, was it your sense that Jay Steen was trying to get the boys to stay home like you wanted rather than going for a bike ride like they wanted to? Was that your sense? I didn't really give it much thought at that time. I, what I, there was, must have been enough thought that when I was laying in bed that October night that it really hit me hard. And that's... Fair enough. And again, you said, when Jay said she's long gone in Canada, he didn't say whether she was alive, he didn't say whether she was dead? No, 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 he didn't say whether she was alive or dead. He didn't say she was in a van squished up and sent to Canada? No, he did not say that. Did he tell you how he knew she was gone to Canada? No, he didn't say that. Okay. He didn't tell you how he knew that she had gone to Canada, just expressing his belief that that's where she was. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of got that, but I got a real sincere feeling that he might have known something about the case at that time.